Lords of the Fallen, like many dark fantasy action RPGs before, it limits you to only a handful of healing items between rests. Called Sanguinarix, the game starts you out with only three. But fear not, you can increase the amount of charges and the item's effectiveness through hidden items called Saintly Quintessences. This is only possible after defeating the first major boss, Pieta, she of Blessed Renewal. Once you overcome her, you'll be able to upgrade when speaking to her within Skyrest Bridge. As Lords of the Fallen features a sprawling, labyrinthine world to explore, you may be worried you've missed a quintessence or two. If that's the case, we've got you covered to make sure you find them all. The fourth saintly quintessence we stumbled across is found near the end of Fitzroy's Gorge, right before heading into the fiery village of Kalrath. You'll come into Fitzroy's Gorge after defeating the Hushed Saint, one of the major bosses of the game. From the Hamlet Vestige, head into Fitzroy's Gorge, taking a right at the crossroads. That leads you through a cave and all the way down to a bridge where you'll have to clear the Ruiner sub-boss. After defeating him, we recommend planting a Vestige Seedling on the bridge to make navigating the next area much easier. Continue onward and face the Light Reaper, that dragon-riding monster man that kills you in the tutorial. If he defeats you, he will move on to another location, so don't worry if you can barely touch him. After the Light Reaper burns you to a crisp, continue onward down the slope, where you'll want to hang a left and climb a small hill with a Flame Warrior at the top. The Saintly Quintessence is located inside a bloated corpse hanging from the tree in the center of the Umbral Realm. As this point is very close to another vestige in Kalrath, we recommend continuing on before shifting to the Umbral Realm to grab the Quintessence, then doubling back due to the amount of difficult enemies you'll have to face. If you manage to pull the Quintessence out of the corpse but die before picking it up, it will remain there for you to grab in either realm afterward. If this is your fourth Quintessence, Pieta and Skyrest Bridge now requires two before you can upgrade your Sanguinarix to plus 65% HP recovery. We hope this video helped you track down a valuable Saintly Quintessence. Be sure to check our previous Saintly Quintessence video to make sure you didn't miss the one that came before. And if you want to ensure you don't miss the next one, make sure to subscribe to Prima Games for our continued coverage on Lords of the Fallen.